Let's say guys and peace be upon this morning. So in this video, we're going to do part two of the DSCP version six server using a Cisco routers. Okay, so I'll open our Google spreadsheet and let you know that today we're doing number number 16, part two, DSCP version six server part two using Cisco router. Okay, so in this scenario, we want to configure this router to act as DSCP version 6 server to allocate these computers IPv6 addresses and we're going to use this network here okay or right, so so let's get started the first thing that you always do when you're configuring um DSCP server is to create pools okay so in DSCP version 6 we're going to create what is called address prefix okay instead of pools okay all right so so i'll just click on this router i come to cli and um, enable uh config t okay then the first step that you should never forget is always to enable ipv6 ipv6 unicast routing that's all don't forget this command okay Okay, so let's begin configuring DSCP version 6 on this router. So let's make this router a server, a DSCP version 6 server, okay? All right, so what we do, we create what is called pools. So we just say uh, IP, IPv6, uh, DSCP, uh, pool, then we name the pool. For example, uh, let's say uh, test test just like that that's enough okay then each enter then we write what's called address prefix ipv6 ipv6 oh sorry we just query and we see what's what's there yes so we just write address uh prefix to be to be the network there okay so we just copy our network there and come and paste here okay then each enter we specify the DNS server. So DNS server, DNS server. We want our DNS server to be the IP address of this IPv6 address of this interface. So we will configure that later. So I just copy this one, I paste that one there, and I change this one to one, okay? And I just hit enter. Then finally, we specify domain name. We just say domain name to be let's say gtech.com and we hit enter exit and do it so we are done creating pools so it's in this it's this pool that will be used to assign this computer's ipv6 address automatically or dynamically okay all right so let's go to step two that we're going to assign ipv6 address to this interface and bind it or associate it to the pool that we just, we just created so we just go to this interface which is um it's um gig zero zero so interface gig zero plus zero okay then we can assign it let's first assign it a link local address okay ipv6 um add to be let's let's just make link local address to be fair 80 fair 80 double colon and then um even three okay then we specify that this is link local we hit enter then now let's assign it a global unicast address according to this network okay so i just copy this remember we said that both the dns server and the peer address of this dns server and the peer address of this interface will be the same okay just copy and i just say ipv6 address i paste that one okay and then 64 and I hit enter. Okay, so this interface here is having uh, a link local address of this one and global Unicast address of this one. Okay, or right. so, so let's bind it to the pool that we just created. So, how do we bind it? We just say IPv6, um, just query IPv6 DCP, um, a DCP, then query again DCP server. Okay, it's our DS, it's the DCP server. Okay, now. When you come to DSCP server, just query and you see it's a word. It's giving you a suggestion of inputting a word there. 
okay so that word is the name of the pool that we created earlier remember this one okay test so we just go there and write server uh, test sorry test and we eat it okay then so it's very very important that we let the this host know that they can use dscp version 6 server okay so we configure parameter on this interface to let this host know that they can use this router as their dscp server so what which command is that we just say ipv6 ipv6 and neighbor discovery neighbor discovery and then let's query yes manage config or should use dscp for address config manage config flag so this command here we let all of these hosts know that they should use dscp for address config then we just hit enter and you as you can see this interface is down turn it up no shut Oop. and exit do right so very few commands the first thing create dcp pool with the name ip ipv6 dcp pool test then you give address prefix as per the network you give this one okay then you specify dcp server i mean dns server so dns server in this case i want it to be as sequel as this one ip address of this one ipv6 address of this one okay so i make it the colon one okay then most importantly don't forget domain name all right so let's get into this interface so that we can bind it or associate it to the this i mean the pool that you just created okay so when you enter that interface the first thing you do always assign it it's recommended that you assign it a link local address although it's not a must okay then the one that's a must is the global unique address make sure you assign it the global unique address okay then after assigning it a global unique address bind it to the pool that we created you just say ipv6 dcp server test test was the name of the pool that we created okay then we have to tell the host that they used they have to use dcp for address configuration and that's all about dcp version 6 using a wrap so when i go to this computer i just go to all of them very very fast save time okay so when i go back to these computers and just try to pick to click that one and you see i change it to automatic you can see it has been assigned ipv6 address automatically based on the this address okay you can see all the first uh, one two three four the first octets the first four octets are the same okay then the default gateway fair 80 colon 3 was the ip address of the of the link i mean the link local address okay this one you can see it here fair fair eight double colon three so that one becomes our default gateway here okay you can see it's not it does not come here so uh hmm. so you can see all of these computers are of uh ipv6 request ipv6 request successful even this one all of them all right okay so guys that's uh, how to configure IPv6, I mean DCP server version 6 using Cisco router to assign IPv6 addresses to the host dynamically. Thank you so much, guys. So, when I go back to our notepad, I mean our Google spreadsheet, I'll mark that section as done. So, when we meet next, let's do IPv6 plus interval routing. Thank you so much, guys. Please subscribe to this channel. Like this video, share with friends, and let's see you again in the next class. Bye and see you again. Thanks.